Hi everybody, I'm Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. I've had a slightly, what I think is a crazy idea. I'm going to try um, a swipe, but in a spiral. <laughs> um, I had this idea ages and ages ago, and um, I've now recently got hold of some of the uh, Australian Floatrol. So I'm going to see what effects I can get swiping, but in a spiral. Who knows if it will work, um, but I'm gonna enjoy trying it out. So um, let me show you the colors I've got here. So I'm ready to start. I've got a 40 centimeter, is it 40 centimeter? I think it's 40 centimeter round canvas. Um, I've put push pins in and I've made sure it's level, but I always find with um, round canvases, they tend to be quite slack in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, it is quite slack. So what I do is I've got a little tiny spray of water here, um, is I just spray the back of the canvas and then just rub the water around. And what that will do is really tighten that canvas so it just gets rid of some of that slack. Because unfortunately I've found that um, on pores on round canvases, if, if they're not tight, it just sags in the middle and then the whole paint, the whole painting slides as it's drying and is, is totally ruined. Um, so that feels reasonably firm now. It's quite nice and bouncy. So be better. Right. I'm going to put some stripes of colour across in a diagonal across the canvas and then when I swipe I'm going to put it on a turntable and then I think I'm just going to start in the middle and then just turn the canvas around so it's going to go round in a spiral I think from the centre I thought about going from the outside but I can't work out how to do the centre so the centre is the most important so I'm going to start that way so I think I'm just going to pour some on pour some colours on With the last swipe I did, the patchwork swipe, I did very similar to this. Um, I just poured the colours on and then I dabbed in between to try and get the, the contra, uh, to try and um, get rid of all the little gaps. So I think I'm probably going to do the same or something similar again. Um, I could tilt it. I might. Let's see how it goes. But what I quite liked with the last one is I had the I had the lines of separate colour, so you could see the distinct colours. But then as I swiped, or as I, I'm going to swirl, um, swirl around this, the colours will mix and blend um, and create some interesting mixes. So I would guess maybe some purpley colours. Right, so all the colours are down. I want to try and even the paint out a bit more now. So I think I'm just going to do a little bit of tilting just to try and get some of this covered. And in tilting, what will happen is the colours will, will move around, but they will cover the canvas. So some of the colours will look a little bit squashed and uneven, but that's fine. but it should just cover nicely. So it is covering apart from this band down here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more to that. I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add a little bit of the brighter pink in that gap.
Right, that's now mostly covered. I'm just going to dab in a couple of places that aren't covered. And also just pull the paint just over the sides so that the si sides are covered in paint as well. Right, I've now put my canvas up onto a, onto a turntable so I can turn it round really easily. I'm going to use kitchen roll. So I've just cut some little squares of kitchen roll. I'm just going to dab the end of the kitchen roll in to the white cell activator. And then I'm going to put it on. And then start moving this around. And because I like the bit that's the, at the beginning of the swipe, what I intend to do is just keep introducing more swipe um, cell activator like this. And then go around the edge and then stop. And then get some more. So I'm just gonna keep stopping and starting and what I will find is I get lines and I'm totally happy with that. Because I actually think that's just going to add a bit more interest. by this painting this has gone so much better than I imagined it would I am so so happy with it just look at the insane lacing and cells and I absolutely love it I think I was expecting it to look more like um more ring like if that makes sense but actually because the colors go in different directions to the swipe it all kind of blends in. Um, it's not, I was just expecting a, a really obvious spiral, but actually it's not. It's more subtle than I was expecting. Um, it's crazy. The The lacing is absolutely beautiful. Um, and a spiral swipe on a round canvas, I'm so pleased with, so happy with this. Really love it. I'm extremely nervous to see how this dries now. Um, I mean, look at that. Wow, that blue through the silver. It's just incredible. And then if you look here, can you see these little tiny pink cells with the, I think it's the Payne's Grey coming through. 
The Caput Morton Violet, love that colour. I'm absolutely over the moon. I just hope everything stays like this. Um, I have a sneaky feeling this blue is a bit runnier because look, you can see how it's it almost looks like it's bleeding, leaking a little bit into the pink. Um, and maybe here as well. But, wow. Right, fingers crossed, I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry. I've got very mixed feelings. It hasn't dried perfectly, but it's not ruined. It's it's okay. Um, let me show you what's happened. Um, it's basically sunk a little bit in the middle. Can you see here, it's gone a little bit swimmy. These cells have opened up massively and this band here, it's gone quite swimmy. The rest seems to be fine. So especially around the edges, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous cells, gorgeous lacing. Um, I think that this dark blue must have been slightly runnier because if you look at the whole piece, the dark blue has created these massive cells. Um, but just look at the details. It's, uh, it's just gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. The lacing is incredible. Um, it's just a bit of a shame it's gone a bit, a bit saggy in the middle. <laughs> Um, so overall, I love this. I love the idea of it. I love the colours. I love the concept of it. Um, it definitely looks like a bit of a record, um, a music record. Um, absolutely gorgeous features. Just a, sh a shame it sagged a little bit there. Um, what I might do is use this and actually embellish it a little bit. Um, I I'm, haven't got a clue with in how I would do that yet, but do something to... Yeah, just to change it slightly, I think. Or, oh, I might just leave it as it is because there were some absolutely beautiful sections in it. Um, great, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think um, and hit the like button if you like it. Thanks, bye.